What's going on everybody? My name is Arthur Berdiev. Um Today we're going to be learning how to make um, basically the simplest main menu in Unity 3D. Uh, for those that have been returning or know me or whatever, yes I know I haven't posted in forever, especially I haven't made any tutorials. And it's also a little bit late, I'm tired as fuck, but since it's easy, uh, it's not going to be, we're not going to fuck up, right? Anyway, let's get into this. So basically, first thing you want to do is um, let's create two folders. I'm gonna call one scene or scenes actually. The second one I'm gonna call scripts. All right. It's just um, you just you know well, you might want to be well organized when you do shit. Anyway, we're gonna go to scenes. We're gonna create a new scene called main menu. All right. We're gonna double click on that. And now we are in main menu. From here, we're going to go to um, game tab. Let's see, we don't need direction di um, direction of light because uh, today we're going to basically do the 2D main menu, right? Um, if you want to do a 3D main menu, we're going to get back into it later. Anyway, now we have main camera. We're going to, let's see, we do, I think it's clear flags. We can do just uh, salt color. You know, we don't need a skybox. And for the background, we can do we can do white. You know, it's up to you which color you want. Um, from here, it doesn't really matter if you change anything else. To be honest, uh, we're gonna create a quick UI. First thing you wanna do is to create a canvas. So we're gonna right click on the hierarchy, UI, and canvas. Okay, and uh, let's move this away from camera as a different game object. Alright, I'm going to press once and just canvas UI, I'm going to rename it for myself, you don't really have to. Um, from here we're going to click the UI and we're going to add the button, alright. And there we have a button in the middle. Okay, now we're going to adjust it a little bit to make it bigger. Um, and for the orientation, we can, we can still leave it in the middle, it doesn't matter, right. We want to just learn how to make a simple main menu. From here, uh, let's change the size to like 180, and for the height, we can do either 50 or 60. Ooh, let's do 60, and actually, let's change weight to 200. That looks better. Okay, now we're gonna go to the text property, and we're gonna change this to play or start game. I'm gonna leave it at play. And since it's a new project in Udini, I don't have any other fonts, so I'm going to leave it to add um, Arial, a standard font. And we can do probably bold. I'll leave it at normal, doesn't fucking matter. I'm going to make it bigger. Uh, that looks good to me. And now uh, we're going to rename this to button play. Okay, now we're going to create a different button, a second button. And honestly, instead of um, creating it again and adjusting it um, where it's going to sit and everything, we can just um, basically duplicate this object. What you can do is uh, press on the button play, control C, and then control V. Now I have two of them. We're going to move this one to the bottom, so we're going to, well, up below the play, so we're going to adjust the Y axis by doing so. So if you go to the left, it goes down, and uh, to the right, it goes bottom. I mean, right. <coughs> uh, let's set it to negative 75. Make it a better number. Uh, we're going to change this to button quit or exit. And we're going to change the property text to quit or exit. Okay, now we have two buttons. Uh, let's test this real quick, make sure it um, presses or works. I mean, we don't have to, but why not? And as you can see, it works. Next thing we want to do is uh, we want to create the script. Uh, we're going to go to the scripts folder. We're going to create a new c -sharp script called main menu script. We're going to double click on that and open it with modern develop or... Um, Microsoft Studio, depending on what you have in your computer installed.
Alrighty, now we have a script opened. What we're gonna do next is uh, make sure our menu works, correct? What we're gonna do is we're gonna probably get rid of this. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna do method, well, public method. Uh, for example, start game. And then public method quit game. This is gonna be the easiest one. It's gonna be application quit, which is basically initiate the quit of the application itself. Uh, from here, actually, the best thing is gonna be is um, to do public string load level. So this is this is gonna be um, a load level we're gonna load when we're gonna press the play button. All right. And from here in public void start game we're gonna do uh, I think it was application load level. Although this is not gonna be the more practical way. It's, this is gonna be the easiest. So we're gonna do load level, and it would be gonna open the thing. Load level string that we created earlier, and that's about it. Uh, from here, this is as far as the script goes for the simplest main menu. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a new object in hierarchy called main menu manager. And we're going to attach this script that we created just recently to the game object that we just created. And actually, since we're going to load the next level and we have to test it, let's create a um, new scene script called test level. We're going to do it real quick. I'm just doing it for testing purposes. You don't really have to follow this. Um, let me just do it real quick. All right, we're back to main menu. Um, now that we have uh, um, main menu script attached to the game job, game, game object, <sighs> in the property of load level, we're gonna do test level, which is the level I just made just now, basically, just to make sure it works. Um, next thing we're gonna do is uh, go to canvas UI. We're gonna go to the buttons we created, both of them, right? We're gonna select each of them. So we're gonna press on button play, then hold left control and button quit. From here we're gonna go to on click, press plus sign, then uh, basically drag the main menu manager here. Now we're gonna go back back to button play, just the button itself. From here we're gonna go to from no function to main menu script to start game. This is the property we just created in this script, public voice start game. Now we're going to click the button quit, no function, we're going to select the script again and do uh, quit game. And that's basically it. Now we're going to test it and see if it works. We're going to press play. And now it's working, as you can see, we're going to press to play. Oh, never mind, actually we did a really small fuck up. Uh, we forgot to add test level to the build settings. Actually, we forgot to add both of them. So make sure, okay, make sure um, when you do the menu, menu, make sure you have all the levels um, in the scenes build. So back to main menu, I'm gonna press play. Button's working, as you can see, yeah. We're gonna press play. Success, success. This is the level that we just loaded. And if we're gonna press quit, it's gonna quit the game. It will not do it right now because we are in in our editor. But this is basically the most simplest way you can create um, the main menu in 3D using C Sharp. 
Um, the next tutorial is going to be more in depth of creating a settings menu and shit like that, or maybe even a loading menu. But hope this helped, and best of luck in learning Unity 3D and programming. Cheers, guys.